Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of multiplying by a fraction. This is standard 6.3b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we need to find just the statement that is true about this problem right here. 3 multiplied by 2 thirds. Well, let's just figure out what that is. 3 times 2 thirds. Now, fraction multiplication is very simple. You multiply straight across. You don't have to worry about common denominators like you do adding and subtracting. Whenever you come across a whole number, like 3, and you want to turn it into a fraction, it's pretty simple. You simply make it over 1. So that's 3 once or 3 wholes. So any whole number you could turn into a fraction. It's going to be improper, obviously, by just making it with a denominator of 1. So now let's multiply straight across, right? And we're going to get 3 times 2, that equals 6. 1 times 3, that equals 3. And if we divide up, let's see, 3 goes into 6 twice. And so 6 thirds equals 2. So take a look at this. We multiplied a fraction by 3 and we actually came, came up with a smaller product. So here's the funny thing about multiplying by fractions that are between 0 and 1. When you multiply by a fraction that's between 0 and 1, your product actually gets smaller. So we are looking uh, for our answer here that is where 2 would fit. The product is between 3 and 4. No, it's not less than 2 thirds. So it's going to be right here. The product is going to be between 2 thirds and 3. The product is not greater than 4. So our answer is going to be C right here. But let's see if we can figure out why. How did we actually get a smaller product? Well, what we did here is we took our third. So let's take our three holes, right? So we took our three holes here. This, this represents our three. And we took two thirds of it. Now, it's nice that each of these, if we're looking at fractions of a set, represent a third. So if I'm going to take two thirds, of 3. Well, I'm just going to take these two holes right here. So this is an interesting rule, and there's my 2. An interesting rule right here. When your fraction is between, and let's write that down, fraction. Now it needs to be between 0 and 1. So it's between 0 and 1, like this. If it's greater than 1, then you will still get a larger number than your first fraction. So if your fraction is between 0 and 1, your product is smaller. And the same thing works with decimals. So if you were to multiply 3 times, and let's find a decimal, well let's do an easy one, 0 0.5. It's between 0 and 1. We don't want to simply say less than 1, because if it's a negative, which is less than 1, then it's going to be negative. But if you multiply by 0 0.5, which, remember, that's our fraction 1 half, well, what are we going to get? 3, let's see, 0 0.5 times 3, that's going to get 15. And that's going to be 3 times 0, 0 at the 1. And we have a 1 decimal. There we go, so 1.5, so half of 3 is 1.5. So here's the rule that we need to remember. If your fraction that you're multiplying by, so let's, let's call this a factor, simply because it could be a fraction or it could be a decimal. So if your second factor, your fraction or decimal, is between 0 and 1, your product is always going to be smaller, and that's how we can solve this problem C without even doing the work, because we know that the two factors are 3 and 2 thirds, and so your product is going to be between those two. 